How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine. So now I'm going to show you how to do this very simple, easy trailer text animation inside After Effects. So I'm going to create a new text by going over to Layer, New, Selecting Text, and I'm going to call my text Trailer. So I'm going to type in Trailer. I'm not happy with the scale, so I'm going to press S, and I'm going to change the scale to 30. I'm going to press S on my keyboard again to get rid of the scale. And already I'm not happy with the anchor point position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this 12 down button and select transform. And I'm just going to move the anchor point so that it rests in the middle of the text like so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the tracking of my text, which is the space between every letter in the word. So I'm going to click on animate and I'm going to scroll down to tracking and making sure under tracking type is selected before and after. As I move my tracking amount, as you can see the space between each letter increases or decreases. Make sure that as we go over to paragraph, that this center to text is selected. If you select left to align and you increase the tracking amount, it will just increase the tracking amount to the left or right, which is, well, I don't want that. So I'm gonna select center align. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set two keyframes on the tracking amount. So I'm gonna select my tracking amount zero. I'm gonna press the stopwatch button right next to tracking amount to set my first keyframe. Then I'm gonna go along two seconds and I'm gonna set the tracking amount to say about 130. Yep, that's fine. So now if I press space bar on my keyboard, we have a very simple text tracking animation. But I'm not finished there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another keyframe under scale, a very subtle one. So I'm going to set a keyframe on my scale by clicking this stopwatch button here. Then I'm going to go to two seconds and I'm going to increase the scale to 35. So we have a very, very, very subtle scale increase. Just to add a tiny bit of depth to the text animation, I'm going to add a new solid. So I'm going to right click new solid or you can go to layer new solid. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to drag my solid below my text animation. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select my ellipse mask, click and hold, scroll down to ellipse tool and making sure my solid is highlighted. I'm going to click and drag to create a circle around my trailer text. Increase it a tiny bit. Then with my mask selected, just going to press F to bring up mask feather. And I'm going to crank up the feather a lot just to make it really blend in another layer of text. So I'm going to duplicate this text that we have here. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. I've selected both layers. So I'm going to go to the two second mark. I'm going to hold Alt and select close bracket to delete everything to the right of my cursor in the timeline. And I'm going to move my second layer just past where my first layer ends. And I'm going to rename this text to animation. So now we have a very simple, quick trailer text animation inside After Effects and you can manipulate the speed of the scale and tracking by just selecting both layers, holding shift, pressing new on your keyboard and moving about both of these keyframes. And that's the end of the tutorial. My name is Jermaine Grant. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Take care, goodbye.